Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this really easy and quick Capri Sun label using Microsoft Word. Okay, the version of Microsoft that I have is Microsoft 365. Um, so your menus may look a little different than mine, but you should still be able to follow along. I don't think they changed the menus that much. The first thing I'm going to do is click on insert. Click on shapes. Click on this rectangle here. And I'm just going to click in the document. And it's going to give me this little box here. You're going to hear me call this box square, rectangle, shape. It's going to be called a bunch of things. Um, but I think in some of the um, older versions, um, when you click on insert and click on shapes and then click on the box, you have to actually literally draw a box. Um, to get it to show. I'm not sure if it if just a click will work on um, other versions of this. I'm not sure. Older versions. Once I get the box in, I'm going to change the height to 5 inches. I'm going to tab down and change the width to 3.5. And one thing I want to show you, this is just something that I do. I'm going to move this box around until I see that vertical line hanging down there and you could probably see the horizontal line too. Basically what this is telling me is that this box here is now centered in the document vertically. And it showed that I guess it's centered horizontally too as well. But anyway, I always want to make sure it's centered vertically. And you'll see why as I go through making this label. And if you turn, if you move your box around and you do not see that vertical line there, um, make sure you're in shape format. Go to align and click on use alignment guys. I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to show you. See, when you move it around, you don't see that box. I mean, I'm sorry, you don't see that line. I can see a faint line there, but I want that line to show up when I'm doing this and as I'm moving it sometimes it'll even pause it to let me know that it's there it won't really let me move it so again shape format align and click on use alignment guides now when I move it around there it is and there I'm showing you this because there is some significance to me to it because every time I add something into this box and I move it around, it's going to let me know that I got it in the center, exactly where I want it to be. And I'll show you as I go along. Now, I want to insert a picture into this box. So I'm going to make sure I'm on shape format. And I'm going to go to shape fill. Come out here to picture. And I'm going to choose from a file. You can choose from stock images, online pictures, or from icons. But... I'm going to choose from a file because I have this picture um, saved on my um, computer here. And then I'm going to go down and find the picture that I'm looking for. And another thing I want to show you too is see the difference in these two? Where well, one is like horizontally um, long and this one is vertically long. If you're using a vertical box, use a picture that's vertical. Don't try to put this picture into this vertical box here. So I'm going to double click on it and it fits it in there. Now if I were to use that other picture that was horizontally, it would look horrible. It would be trying to squeeze everything in there. So it would just look distorted. So make sure you, you know, keep an eye on that when you're choosing your pictures. Next thing I want to do is I want to put in the Capri Sun logo and I could easily go to insert, click on pictures this device and go and find where I have the um, Capri Sun logo save double click on it and it will enter it but there's a little easier way um, this file folder down here you know you can click on it like when the first time you click on it you can click on it like one two three four five and it'll give you three five different folders and um, and you can go into each folder and open up what you need, what you know you're going to be using. And that's the way I like to do it. So I click on this folder. I'm going to open up my Capri Sun folder here. 
And all of these logos, I downloaded them from Google. Um, I wasn't quite sure which one I really wanted to use, so I just chose a bunch of them. And this time, I'm going to use this first one here. I'm just going to hold my mouse down and drag it into my document. Okay. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to use this layout option here. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to choose this very last one, which is in front of text. And then I'm going to resize it. Bring it over here. And as you can see, there's that vertical line again, which is letting me know that I now have it centered in this box. So I told you that little vertical line would come in handy. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in happy second birthday Araya, which is my god granddaughter, by the way. Um, I've been making um, chip bags and um, water bottle labels and so forth for her second birthday coming up in just a few days, actually. So what I did here was go into the folder. I made this um, using, um, what was it, um, Adobe um, Photoshop. I made it into a PNG because, like I said, I've been making several different items, and it's just easier to just make it once and use it everywhere. So I'm just going to drag it into the document, click on it, change my layer option to in front of text, and then I'm going to resize it. down here make sure I got it with the size that I want looking for that vertical line again bring it a little it's centered and there it is okay now I'm going to show you how I made this little fruit punch label here I think it's kind of important to have that on there because Capri Sun do, does have a lot of other flavors and it may be a flavor that maybe some kid or person doesn't like and so I think it's important to have that label so they know what they're getting or you don't know they may be allergic to one of the um, flavors of the Capri Sun you don't know so I decided to add this little label and I'm going to show you how I did it okay I clicked on insert choose shapes choose the rectangle this time I'm going to draw it on I'm just going to move it to the side work with it from the side um, under shape format I'm going to do shape field and I'm going to choose the color red okay now I'm going to go back to insert again. And I'm going to insert a text box. And choose just this first one here. And I'm just going to type um, fruit punch in capital letters. Okay. I'm going to change the font to um, Jersey M54. And just so you know, I did download this font from the font. Dot com. Basically, if you don't know anything about it, you can come here and download hundreds of fonts. Um, they have a lot of free fonts, but this is the one that I downloaded here um, for this one. It just seemed to me to fit perfectly for this. Okay. Now I'm going to decrease the size of this box. as small as I can you can already see that it's way too the red box is way too big so I'm going to decrease it in size I don't want it too big okay what I'm going to do is while I got this text box um, selected I'm going to go to shape fill no fill, shape outline, no outline. Okay. 
I want to make that red box a little bit smaller. No, that already work. Okay, I'm going to highlight the font again, the words Fruit Punch, and I'm going to change the color to white. And right now I can click on this little box because you see that little white line there? That's telling me that the color chosen is white. But if I wanted to choose another color, I just hit the down arrow and pick a color, but I'm going to stick with white. And that's not white. Let's try it again. I guess it is. It didn't look white. Um, yeah, that's about where I want it, but I want to do one other thing I forgot to do. Move that to the side just a little. I'm going to take the outline off the um, box. Shape format. No outline. Move the words back over. Okay. Now, like in some programs like Inkscape or um, Photoshop, I can't just draw a box around these two to select them both. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of them. I'm going to go to Shape Format, and I'm going to choose Selection Pane. Okay, it's showing me that I have the text box already selected, but I want that box, that red box under it. So I'm going to hold on my Control key, and I'm going to click on Rectangle here. Now that I have the two chosen, I'm going to go up here to Group, and I'm going to choose Group. Then I'm going to place it where I want it, over here. Okay. I also want to choose everything here now because I want to group the whole thing. So I'm going to come back over to the Selection pane. I'm going to choose this group which we know is the fruit punch. I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to click on the other stuff as well. Now everything should be chosen. I can't really tell if I got this box um, picture here. So I'm going to click on it to see if it, well yeah, it's this one. So everything is chosen. I'm going to go back up to group and click on group again. Now everything is grouped. Let me show you. So I can move it. And everything is grouped. So we can close the selection pane. Now I'm going to save just this one for now. I'm going to tell you why. Get browse. I'm gonna go where I want it to where I want to save it. Go to my demo folder here. Um Caprice on labels and click on save. It's gonna ask me if I want to replace it because I've made this several times trying to make this video. Okay. Now, even though I'm making this for my grand, my um, god granddaughter's birthday party, let's say that you were making a label similar to this for maybe a customer or a client or whomever. Um, you may want to make a PDF of it and send it to them so that they can let you know if if they're okay with everything you've done or if they want to make any type of changes. Okay, with um, Microsoft 365, they added this. Um, Acrobat um, menu here. I don't know if it's on older versions or not, but it is here. And it's also here in File and Save as Adobe PDF. Or if you have um, Adobe Acrobat, which is Adobe PDF, you can go there and, and create the um, PDF as well. But I can click on Acrobat, click on Create PDF. It's asking me where I want to save it. 
It's going to be this one. I'm going to click save. Like I said, I've done this a few times already. But I want to show you how I did it. Now it's in the process of making the um, PDF. And it's probably best to, to already have your Acrobat um, open. <coughs> that way it won't take as long to make. And there it is. And one thing I noticed too that I didn't take the outline off of the first box. So that's something I'm going to do. But here you can put a watermark on it. You can set it up to where um, when you send it to the client or customer or whatever that they won't be able to print it. You can keep them from saving it. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a different video. But yeah, that's what you want to do. Okay, now that I got this made, let me close this selection pane. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to put, I can put up to four of these on one page. So I'm going to right click on it. Choose copy. I'm going to right click again. And I'm going to choose, you got two options here. This one I wouldn't, I mean, yeah, you probably could use it, but I like using this one because it's basically t telling you it's using all the formatting sources that you use and it wants to copy everything. So I'm going to click on that one and paste it. Come down here, I'm going to right click again. Choose this one, bring it down. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it don't run off the page. Right click again. Bring it down. I'm gonna apologize to you all right now. One of my neighbors got their music cranked up pretty loud. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's not me. Okay, and that's it basically and you can save this but let me go and like I said remove the outline around this box um, get your format and um, yeah so you can choose either shape format or picture format with shape format you're gonna go to um, shape outline and say no outline with picture format it's gonna be picture border and just choose no outline so either way it's going to remove it just so you know if you end up on one or the other where to go to make that change again on the shape format it's going to be here shape outline no outline and with this you can now print this and you can use scissors to cut them out after you print it. Um, I use, um, I have photo sticker paper is what I use. And um, just print it out, you know, put that paper in your printer, print it out on those, and then you can cut them out with scissors if you want. Or you can um, create a PNG of this and pull it into one of your um, um, cutting machine um, programs like Design Space or Silhouette, or you can make this in Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio. It's up to you. Okay, so I thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate it. Um, please click the like button down at the bottom and share it with anyone who you think could um, benefit from this. Thanks again, Scott. Thanks again, guys.